Dr. Gupta, we appreciate that insight. Thanks for being here tonight. Well, now to a study that can answer an urgent question that many of us have. Do vaccinated people still need to wear a face covering? Right now, health officials say it is safer to wear one in public since it's still not really clear if the vaccine prevents COVID-19 transmission. But researchers, backed by the National Institutes of Health, they've launched a massive new effort to help answer that question. They're tracking vaccinated college students. The results could shape the future guidelines for all vaccinated Americans. CNBC's Meg Terrell now with the details of this new study. Hey, Meg. Hey, Frank. Well, it's a study they're calling Prevent COVID U, and it aims to enroll participants at 22 universities across the country using Moderna's vaccine. So why college students? Well, they live close together, they interact more, and have higher rates of infection, though relatively lower rates of severe disease. The plan vaccinates 6,000 volunteers immediately and another group of 6,000 four months later. They'll all be asked to answer questions on an app and swab their noses every day and to provide periodic blood samples. But the study is not just following those 12,000 people. Additionally, about 25,000 people will be identified as their their close contacts, and they too will be asked to provide samples. Dr. Fauci says this is how they aim to measure the vaccine's impact on transmission. The next five or so months, we'll be able to answer the very important question about whether vaccinated people get infected asymptomatically, and if they do, do they transmit the infection to others? Now, this is a study they had hoped to start in January, but the Wall Street Journal reported at the time they weren't able to secure funding and resources to get it running. The timing now is raising some questions about ethics, as some in the study won't be vaccinated until July, and participants could be eligible for the vaccine before that, although that, of course, depends on national supply. The NIH hoping college students will enroll, saying on the study's website, quote, your plans are all canceled anyway. Might as well sign up and be a part of history. Frank. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.